and uh, good evening. We are Sunday, it's uh, February 16th, and the year is really going quick. I don't know what's going on, but the days are just flying away. Now, today I am going to answer a question from Jessie. And Jessie wrote to me and she says, Hi Eva, photonic therapy has really saved the life of my horse more than once. He had colic twice, deep wounds that wouldn't heal, and I also used it for pain relief. Her question now is, how come so few know about this therapy? I see Teresa is here. Hi, Teresa. So how come so few know about the, this therapy nowadays? It's pretty simple when you know the answer. But the fact is, is light therapy was really well known already thousands of years ago. So the Chinese have been using it, uh, color therapy, for over 3,000 years. The Egyptians have been using it over uh, 1,500 years ago. They were using solar therapy. They were using the color therapy. And it was really known. And, and, and may, you may remember, if you've gone through the pages of the articles of Dr. Brian McLaren, you will know that in uh, 1903, so last century, no, two centuries ago, well, you know what I mean, last <laughs> century. Um, Niall Svinson in 1903, he received the Nobel Prize for Medicine with using red light to treat smallpox. And he even received a um, Nobel Prize for uh, what, he, uh, what, he, what he did. Now, the fact is, it goes even further. During World War I, during World War II, light or color therapy was still used. Um, they would use it on the bullet wounds. They would use it on the infections that would be there. And the problem at that time is that would, they would use, um, it, it was a glaze stop that, would, that we would use. So it wasn't really handy in times of war. But color therapy has been known for centuries, many, 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 many centuries. So how come that suddenly today we don't know so much about it? Well, the fact is the following. In 1952, penicillin came on the market. Pharmaceuticals came on the market. And suddenly there was, well, they already did studies about, about light therapy. But with the pharmaceutical industry starting to come onto the market, it really pushed away light therapy. And at that time, an example that I can give you is, well, if you would treat an infection, you could take uh, light therapy for half an hour or longer, depending on what was going on. Or the pharmaceutical industry said, here, take this pill. It will blow your uh, infection away. And of course, for people, it was a lot more easy to just take the pill against an infection than to use the light therapy. And that's what's, what happened in North America. In North America, really, the pharmaceutical industry took over. And light industry or the light therapy was just pushed away. That was not the case in Europe and certainly not in Russia because it's also in Russia that they continue to work out with uh, light therapy and that's also where they developed the lasers. It was Russia. It wasn't in America or in North America. It was in Russia. And Europe was still using light therapy. And that's, that's what, in the end, for North America, because that's where Jesse is from, in North America, it's just uh, the, the pharmaceutical industry that took everything over and that was supported and that just pushed every, everything else away. Now, what happened, of course, in the end is once they saw the results, what we were having in Europe or in, in Russia with the lasers, that America also got interested and said, OK, we have to know more about this. How, how does it come? And this, this, I read the story that it had to do with the equine industry in the first place, that um, the racehorses who were having injuries, they were healing up a lot quicker over here, yeah, I'm, I'm in Europe. I'm on this side of the ocean. They were healing up a lot quicker over here than they were in North America. And that's in the end, from what I've learned, 
it, that's in the end is how they said, okay, that laser, because back then it was just a laser, that laser, we need to get that into America too. And, and that's how it came back, let's say. But it was there centuries before. Also in North America, they were using light therapy. But because of the force of the pharmaceutical industry, it has pushed it all away. And then the pharmaceutical industry also became stronger and stronger in Europe. And, and yeah, people, many people will just prefer to take, oh, let me take this pill. They don't think further. They don't think of what consequences the medication that you're taking could have. They are not aware of the negative side effects they can get from just taking a pill when we already have tools that our world is giving us, like with light therapy, it's there. Even the sun has positive effects on you. Not all of them. You don't want to be in the sun <laughs> baking six hours a day. Yeah, I know that. But everything in its right proportion is helpful. And, and that's where we're going back to. It's... Um, Pharmaceutical industry, uh, we can't live without it. I totally agree with that. We can't live without it because there are some things that we really need. But on the other hand, we have so many alternatives which are even sometimes better for us because they're more natural and they will help our body even more. So how come so, so few know about this therapy? It's because it was pushed away by the pharmaceutical industry because it was easier to take a pill instead of using light therapy. But I know for sure when we see the evolution, Dr. Brian McLaren has brought the LED lights on the market. Uh, he developed them since 1989, so that's more than 30 years ago. And slowly but surely more and more people are getting to know it. And of course it is a fact that NASA has stimulated this. And why is that? Well, that's another story. Now I'm happy to uh, talk about that. Um, and so in the past, as you will probably know that lasers, they can be uh, dangerous because it's a very uh, strong beam uh, that can cut uh, things open, depending on the strength and so on and so on. Uh, and that is co coherent light. But the fact is, is that NASA never did use that. They started immediately with the LED lights. And they accidentally found out how good it was working. Because they were using it, uh, they wanted to use the LED lights to have like natural light, like sunlight, to be able to grow plants. And one of them cut themselves open. And what they discovered accidentally is that he put his hands by, uh, for, to work with the plants and where the light which touched his skin, that wound healed up a lot quicker than the rest of the wound. And that's how they said, oh my God, this, this is so strange because this person to have uh, his wound healed, he would have had to come back to earth and get the necessary attention. But what happened is the red light or the, ooh, the light that they were using in this case for the plants to grow on the part of the wound because he had an open, a long open wound on the part of the wound where the light was shining on because he had his hands on these plants and, and the light was on there. That's how they discovered that the LED light was also helping to make wounds heal a lot quicker. And that's how it all continued. And it's just going to continue to work um, or to have people known it more and more. But for that, we also need you. All of you are already using it. You should talk to other people about it. You should show them what it's doing for you. And this has nothing to do with me. This, ha this our, our photonic therapy, I mean. It's in general, light therapy can heal. So make sure that you share all the information with your friends, with your family, and that you keep on using it on your animals. It is a fact that photonic therapy does more than just light therapy. Because light therapy, it could be red light, it could be blue light, it could be uh, near infrared light, and so on. We don't need that when we are using photonic therapy, because photonic therapy 
is the combination of two therapies. On the one hand, red light, and on the other hand, we are combining it to stimulate specific acupuncture points to bring balance back in the wholeness of the body. Because any disease is because of an imbalance in that body. Be it your body, be it the body of your dog or your horse or your cat, it doesn't matter whom. It's in any living being, it's the same. So make sure, for all of you who have a torch, make sure to do your standard points, make sure to do these points on your loved ones, be it family, be it your animals, all of them deserve the same. And it's a combination of the light therapy on the one hand, and on the other hand, the power of any acupuncture point that you will be stimulating to bring that balance back. Last tip that I want to... Uh, or it's not a tip. Last thing I want to say about this is the following. I read in my time, cancer rates became higher up or raised when people started to wear sunglasses. Because also your eyes needs to see some light to get the benefits of it. No, that doesn't mean you shouldn't be wearing sunglasses. Of course not. But it does mean that most of us are having problems because we are not getting enough sunlight. So think about that. Next time you're putting your sunglasses up, just think of it and say, how much light did I get today from the sun, the natural spectrum, the visible spectrum that I can see? We need a little bit of energy, every single one of us. Good night.